Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time we were making our way around the complex here, and right at the very, very end of the last episode, it ended abruptly because my drive filled up with information and I had no space left on my hard drive for more video. So the recording ended, but I got lucky it recorded right at the end of things. How are we doing for key points and stuff? Okay, we should short rest if possible, due to the nature of our key points being somewhat depleted. Who knows how much other stuff is going to be missing, or rather, how much stuff is going to be attempting to attack us around the perimeter of this building, because we've had some big attacks so far. Still working on that Maul of the Destroyer. There's a crate here. I'm going to come and loot it, just because I can. Not sure what's out in this corner. If anything at all. Just rations. Okay, well we don't need those. We have create food and water. That looks like a whole bunch of nothing. Yes, I don't want that. Alright, let's just check the last edges of this perimeter then. And then we'll go in. I only check because what I don't want to happen is go in, get weaker come out and then be ambushed by something I hadn't cleared out on the first pass. But once that's done, we then have to find our way in. Looks like there's some more loot over there. Main entrance. I remember last time doing this as a long series of combats and whatnot, but not today, or not this time round, at least. I don't need six hand axes, thanks. Now, as long as somebody's not going to try and stand underneath where that block is being pushed. Not seeing anything else interesting on the map, so now we have to decide on our way in. In the past, I've gone in through the roof rather than the front door. Just seems like that's going to be a safer option. I'm not even sure where the front door directly brings you in. But given the choice of going in directly through the front door, where you'd expect people to be, or coming in through one of the rear spaces, I'm going to opt for that. So... How are we doing on spellcasting? Reasonably well. We've one of each leveled slot. So let's try coming in through here whilst we're stealthed. Leave the current area. Yes. All right. We're in. Get cautious again. Stack of books. I'll start with a stack of books. No idea what I expect to find. Oh, search for documents. Okay, search for notes, find more information. All right, that ladder is going to take us back to the roof, I assume. Don't exactly want to be doing that. Check the bookcases, check the chests, all the usual spots for stuff. Hello. All right, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's come back round here to this chest. Not seeing any traps. Is it locked? No. Bag of holding. 3x carrying capacity and something else. What was that? A polymorphing report. The problem isn't physical as far as we can tell. Our Lord Protector is healthy. He can't revert. What was that noise? We safe? I heard a noise. Alright, well, there's some kind of report about polymorphing. What bags are we carrying? Bag of holding. Somebody else doesn't have a bag of holding, do they? Andy have a sack. Andy have a sack. Andy have a sack. Alright, well, congratulations. You are getting an upgrade. Did I not drag it to you? Third, last one in the group. Apparently I did not. 
Oh, out of range or something. Congratulations, you now have more room to carry stuff. Okay. Well, that was the chest, wasn't it? Yes. Alright, let's start with this door. Any moment could be a combat. Like that. Oh, jeez. Okay. I vaguely remember this room. Oh. Interesting. If there's anyone else in the room, so far they're not interested in fighting us. Alright, then I'm going to stand here. Like, there's a crafter right behind them that is not in this initiative, apparently. But I expect them to be very soon. Uh, let's start with a simple guiding bolt, then. There's a natural one. Alright, we'll get behind some cover. Alright, I'm anticipating being seen and then pulling a lot more stuff into this initiative. Though, the other option could be let them come towards us and see if they don't drag more stuff into this fight. Counter spell, interesting. Yeah, you can't counterspell that, can you? Right, even hitting on a 12 is great. Wow. Plus 13 to hit is... Unbelievable. Right. Can we stealth? Can we stealth? Can we stealth? Alright, that was very peculiar. Because I can see an enemy there. I can see an enemy there. No idea why they didn't want to get involved in that fight. But I will take it. Oh, jeez. They've turned around. They've turned around. Oh. What? Okay. Now we're in the big fight. No idea how that happened, but... We'll deal with it when it comes. Alright, we're going to move out, because we are currently unseen. No idea how much HP this guy has, but... I'm going to smack him with advantage. Not heaps of HP. Just fine by me. They are dead. Right then, I will push back. My big problem is going to be area of effect spells, possibly. People moving in the darkness, in the shadows. Or a lot of counterspell, perhaps, could be a problem. Uh, Mana Scientist has 11 HP, huh? now dead and we shall get full cover again the mana crafter does not seem to be the big worry here Oh, 
All right, that was some damage. We'll push back as well. Remaining hidden is lovely. Marake. Since we are hidden, and these guys do not have heaps of HP, let's just go with an advantage one of those. Nice. We'll cover there. Then three more are going to push up. And they really don't like trying to actually attack us, do they? Palm. Mana Scholar. We don't know how much HP they actually have, but we're not anticipating too much. And hitting them on a 12 is just lovely. Flurry of Blows might be enough to kill them. Fingers crossed. I mean, when we're hitting on a 12 on a plus 9. One foe down. Yeah, that's about how I expected it to go. Uh, let's see, we've got three more on the stairs, so let's hide behind here. What are you doing, Scholar? Nothing. Right, I can't actually reach anybody else now. So, I'm just going to take the hide action and wait for them to come around. And we may be able to get an attack at advantage or something. Scorching Ray. Hits us once. Uh, we can't get close enough to attack them with a melee attack without spending key points. Now, of course, we probably could spend a lot more key points here. Given that... Uh, we will probably be able to short rest immediately after this fight. But, you know, it'll be fine. Right, this guy, the Mana Scholar, is the last high... Oh, there's two of them, but they're the high HP creatures to relatively worry about. Wow. Seven radiant damage out of that. One, two, three, one. Then we've got these small guys running around the bottom. Firebolt against Palm. Palm is going to be able to get down here. And these two mana scientists are not healthy. Damn, I was hoping we'd get them in one hit. I should have gone after the other guy with the second hit because our weapon does more damage than our unarmed strikes. But ultimately, I imagine it's not going to make a difference if we hit all four. Correct. What are you doing? Acid arrow. Yes, I'll take an attack of opportunity. Good. All right. Uh, we can close the gap on them. Even if we get seen, that's no bother. We have advantage on our first attack, thanks to the guiding bolt we attacked them with earlier. Good, and a second attack should see them dead. Another one. And then just one remains. Uh, wrist. I'm just going to leave him there. Marake. We can't see that guy from where we are, but we can ready an attack cantrip. We regenerate some of our health because we are very monkish. 
palpable hit. Get smacked. Get smacked again. And how about two more smacks? I think that will probably do us well. We got 500-ish XP for the guy that we killed earlier. I'm wondering if... Go on, run away. Yes. If we'll be able to level up how much we get from this. Only 700. The small one's evidently not worth very much. Yes, the acid is doing annoying stuff to us. We'll take the scholar's clothes. We'll take the scrolls. I mean, we, can, we have enough for the daggers as well, the arrows. Sure, give it all to me. Then we will regroup and see if there are other things that we have not looked into yet. Right, this office seems to be empty. We'll check this book. I think I found it. The Dryglyph Codex. Some kind of quest item, sure. Uh, fancy box over here. Slave stone and a hybrid bullet progress report phase two. Only slightly terrifying. That opened the door behind us. A small note that says access to the tunnels is currently blocked. Use the elevator if you need to reach the lower levels. What's that on the desk? A cube prism key. Oh god, I'd forgotten entirely about the key situation here. Okay, let's short rest if it's safe to do so. It's not. Interesting. Right, there's no unexplored containers. Let's get back into this large room then. There's still other stuff on the ground and bookcases. Never know what you'll find in a bookcase. Mutant Tiger Drake information. All right then. Heaps of scrolls and hybrid direwolf information. Scrolls, uh, Ice Storm would be great if we could cast it, but I don't believe we can. As a cleric. If you want to cast all the spells, there is a setting for that, but uh, not one that I have turned on. Right, does this library be any safer? No. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't burn through all of my spell slots already. Let's get cautious. And we'll crack open a door. Alright. No signs of anything immediately life-threatening out here. Let's go this way because we've seen this entryway already. This door unlocked. Yes, nothing there either. How about this door on this end? Right now, all we want to do is just find paperwork. Nothing more interesting than that. More paperwork, perhaps? Damn. All right, we're not going to go downstairs yet. Uh, gloves of missile snaring, 10 arrows, a weapons rack. No idea if we'll find anything of particular interest, but it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, a plus one longsword, rapier. What are we currently using when we are using a weapon? A plus one long sword. All right, then. The monks can use a long sword. They are proficient in it, 
but it's not a monk weapon, so we wouldn't get a flurry of blows and stuff. I think that's how that works. Uh, oh, that room is definitely full of people. Okay. Archer, Arcanist, Soldier, Soldier. All right, then. Let's see if they want to play dirty, because I do. We'll get the monks out of the way there. Then... How far away can I cast this? big thing is it has to be somewhere I can see to cast it. Is that the... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. There's not many points on this staircase I can opt into standing, which is kind of troublesome. That really doesn't help me. Let me go one higher. Or there, just like looking slightly deeper into the room. Because once I cast the spell, it's game on, right? Ah, damn it. Alright, we're not getting the jump on them, and our initiative is not great. Alright, I'm just going to stand here. Oh, this is really not how I was hoping this would go. Um... We don't really hold useful things, do we? It's a shame. Alright, let's swap to our slightly worse arrows. And we'll go after the Arcanist because I hate the spellcasters. Man, their perception checks were massive. Plus 12. And... I'm going to stand here, which might be risky, and use power, patient defense. There's more of them down the other side of the room there. You see them climbing the stairs. Luckily, with this formation of geography, they're not going to be able to stand very many places to try and hit us, which is nice. It will mean our monks are going to have a hard time trying to move up as well, but this is the bit I'm really interested in. Um, now, where's the best place to do this? Where they all currently are, or... Actually, that looks pretty good. No, oh, why'd you have to do that? Okay, I'm mad about it. I suspected it would happen. But I had to try. I really thought... Never mind. All right, let's get a stunning strike going on this guy right in front of us. I said, let's get a stunning strike going on this guy right in front of us. Well, at the very least, thank you for the crit. I 
I didn't mean that kind of crit. You're laughing at me, game, aren't you? You're laughing at me. Can Stunning Strike be done with a dart? Does that qualify? I don't think so, but I'll see. Or I won't, you know. There's that too. Oh my god. Bad luck. Such trash. Right, I'm going to move back just for AoE avoidance and stuff. That is patient defense working incredibly well. Incredibly well. Right, they're going to run out of spots to stand to do melee attacks against us, which is nice. So, with that in mind, I'm actually going to try and stun the ones further back. There's one. Alright, they save on that one. And it's another nat one. Come on! Game! That is exactly where I wanted them to stand. That's an attempted shove. They have knocked me prone. And they are attacking me with advantage now. Deflect that. You can take it. Pass. Right. These four. Oh, we don't have flame strike, okay. Well then. What's the next best thing? Probably that. Oh my god, there's another one of them. I hate counter spell. Get stunned. I said, get stunned. Good, right. Uh, I'll save key points. Good crit. Um, from here, might as well dart the stunned guy. Damn, that's some decent damage. You like it? Plus five on our dart attacks, huh? They still manage to miss us while we're led down until they roll double twenties on a crit. How's his health? Fine. What is that? Scorching Ray? No chance. What is that? More Scorching Ray. Are they going to try and jump down? They are. Interesting. I mean, it's certainly one way to get more people down this end of the fight. Well, there's actually so many of them, isn't there? Right, Stunning Strike's still on. Good damage. And stunned. Kill this one. Good crit. Save the key points for the more important stuff. Another Dominion soldier attempts to shove us down and attack us. An action surge and attack us again. And attack us again. All right, we're going to need to do something about their HP soon. Poor old wrist. Deflect. 
pass. Right. Now the thing about spellcasting is they need to see us to be able to do something about it. So I'm going to come stand down here a bit. Good miss. Thank you. And then we're going to put on Spirit Guardians. They can't see me to not do that. I'm not going to risk the attack of opportunity there just because we are now concentrating on a spell. Not bad, eh? Go again. I'll take another. Apparently another two. Wasn't paying attention. And now we are really running out of key points here. Damn. Right, they're out of key points. We have a new friend down here. They save. Always a great shame. Good crit. A fine stroke. And a stun. Save the key point. Another crit. Love to see it. Makes up for all those nat ones we've already had this fight. You're stunned, you're using Scorching Ray, which is a trash spell for trash wizards and awesome monks who get it for free on a headband. Courage. Right, Wrist has 20 HP. Onus of Mind, at 6th level you gain the ability to heal yourself as an action, you can regain hit points equal to 3 times your monk level. And then we are going to use power, patient defense, and dodge. Spirit Guardians doing some decent work. All right, more of you need to be dead now, please. Uh, let's get the old sword out, shall we? There's a crit for you. Love to see it. Yeah. We have no key points left, so we don't need to worry about whether stunning strike is occurring or not. Instead, we're just attacking solidly. Solidly enough. I wonder how differently this would have gone if we would have gotten that spell off at the very beginning. Lovely. We will push up so that the cleric can move in with their AoE spell behind. Nine key points. Stunning strike goes on. Flurry of blows. Plenty of key points. And I think over there we have roof access if we really need it to go take a rest. Oh, yeah. Good work. Probably didn't need the stun at that point, but, you know, it's fine. Shadow Dagger. And they must really be out of spell slots. Attack in Retaliation. Missing all round. Right, uh, let's go after the actually healthy one. Good start. Ooh, that must have hurt. And stunned. And another. And another. Oh, I want to get Marake up here. You can't hit me with a 14 or an 8. There's Meraki. Um, got anything interesting we can do with our shield out? Not really. It's fine, we'll just stand around menacingly. Uh, we will just take the dodge action because we can't get past the two ahead of us. 
Until these guys are dead. There's one. They are stunned, so I'm going to run straight by. We'll start dealing with this side of the problem. Good. Uh, we can hit another target with enough movement, so we will flurry of blows, and if we kill them, we can move up to someone else. Cancel that. Move. Then keep attacking. Lovely. Invisible. Nope. Shadow dagger. And an attack of opportunity. And they're running off down the other way. Six radiant damage. One, one, four. Why couldn't it have been 886, you know? Alright, let's go after the ones that aren't stunned then. Just be a handful of attacks against this archer until I net one, of course. That's the stunned one, the archer, and the arcanist down there. Come on now. Thank you. Oh, you're not stunned anymore. Well, you're also not greatly effective. Unlike over here. Can I see you? Because if I can see you, I will spell cast against you. Over here. Why can't I attack you? I can attack you. Or not. You know, these are the challenges we face sometimes. Good. And again. Or not. Where is Knuckle at this point? Uh, Knuckle can chase down these lot. Oh, there's a trap there. Interesting. Way of freedom. Do we get to pick... No. I was going to say, do we get to pick to shove them? But by the time we hit them, they'd die anyway. How much movement do we have left? Loads! Absolutely heaps of movement. Stop healing yourselves. Well deserved. Good retaliation. Right, this must be the last round. I said this must be the last round. Start. That's very good. Alright, just the soldier left. Glad it didn't let me attack my ally by mistake. Last one. Sorted. Right, there is going to be heaps of stuff on the floor in this room. There's a plus one arrow. And a bunch of other stuff. Bothering to do the admin of handing back the plus one arrows that's like the hard part. Somebody else who has loads of inventory space go and pick something up. Please. Did I check this? I did. Right, what else do we have up here? There's buttons over there. I don't want to investigate that yet. 
Research notes. Uh, some interesting bits and pieces. And I'm hoping we can just get out onto the roof. Yes. Right. Back on the safety of the roof. Different entryway in. But from here, I should be able to grab a sneaky short rest. Good. Uh, hit die. Oh, God. Your hit die situation is a problem. But, you know, these things happen. Um... Yeah, we're not going to get a long rest until we find somewhere indoors to long rest because there is not a long rest facility out here, which is its own problem. But for now, that is going to be a problem for next time. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.